Hey guys, how you doing? Um, just got off work, got home, night shift, 12.30, uh, got changed and we're gonna go for a fish. I don't have a lot of fuel or a lot of time, I've got stuff on tomorrow, so uh, I'll have to make it a quick one, but I am keen. Uh, what we're gonna do today is just do some bait fishing. I'm just gonna try and get some long fins for shark bait. Um, it's not shark season yet, but I'm gonna go out in the bay sometime this week, hopefully with a few of the boys. So. Uh, we might pick up a shark if we're lucky, so just about bait fishing, and even if we don't, we can save them for the summer anyway. So, go, gone to the servo, got some uh, pilly, didn't have time to get steak or anything like that. Um, so, I'm just going to drive down to the lake, it's not too far here, just a little lake in Marsden. Um, oh, I turned the camera then, I had to give way with the camera. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully, we'll be sweet to get a fish or two tonight, and um, yeah, should be good. Uh, more when we're down there, I guess. Alrighty guys, we're here, just walking down, got our bait, rods, the all important chair, tackle bag on the back there, it's not too far, just down there, so, uh, oh and of course the Uggies, can't forget those, <laughs> it's only about a five minute walk and then uh, we'll get some fishing done. Alrighty guys, we're down here at the lake, um, this lake is actually a man-made system, it's like a, it's like an estate lake, but uh, it does harbour some good fish typically. There's a drain system that runs out. It's usually a few fish in under there. If you guys can see all the minnows on the top there. Actually all across the lake, they're everywhere. So here's hoping that what that means is um, there's big predators lurking underneath. So I can get these rods rigged. I'll show you guys the rigs we're gonna be using in just a sec. It's very cold, very cold. I don't know if you can see my breath there. It is absolutely freezing guys, but um, yeah. The eels don't mind that, they're okay with it, so we get these rods rigged and um, see how we go. Alrighty guys, these are the three rigs we're going to be using, they are all different, that wasn't exactly my intention, but that's just how it's panned out. Little uh, circle hook and a big chunk of lead on there, it's a pretty big uh, weight, I've got about 30-40 centimetres between that where the bait's going to sit up, that's 20 pound litre there. Um, this one nothing really show I don't know if you guys can see there's our hook there this one's just gonna be unweighted just an unweighted piece of pilly and this one here was a leftover carpet rig so it's a downrigger we got a little lump of lead there and then two hooks like there we're just gonna put small baits on that one and uh, that's gonna be our best chance of black catch on that rod too so we're gonna have the lump of lead out in the middle where the bigger fish are with the 20 pound the other ones have only got eight pound leader this one will be casted to the weeds on the right and this one will be casted to the weeds on the left and uh we'll see how we go fish Alrighty, guys all three rods set one on the weeds one in the deep and another one in the weeds now it is a waiting game all right it's as hard as too cold i'm getting a fire going i can't hack it guys I can't hack them in trackies, jumpers, uggies, it's just too cold. So, a little fire, keep warm. That's a fish. Oh, he's the bug though. Ah, oh, bug resist him. Ah, oh, damn, definitely a fish though. Bugger. Oh, I think that's a fish, guys. Got a bit of a tangle with the other rods. Oh, that's definitely a fish. Fish on, yes, yes, yes. It's our first bait of the night. This is on the deep rod, 20 pound litre. Oh, it's actually a pretty good one, guys. Yeah, we've actually got a pretty good one. Oh, this tangle's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Damn, oh, this is a nice fish. We weren't really after one this size. We're looking at a pretty sizable fish. I'm just going to turn my podcast off that I'm listening to. There we go. Ugh. And we're on. Oh, the smoke's in my eyes. Bloody hell. Um, landing this fish. Going to be interesting. I'm not really sure how we'll go about it. I don't think it's a meter, but I think we're probably looking at about an 80 centimeter fish here. It's a big bait. It's 
That's a big bait. You know what? He might not even be 80. He might be a bit smaller than that. I'm hoping that the 20 pound leader will hold and we can just pull him up. That would obviously be ideal. This was on the uh, bottom weight. Right down the bottom. Oh, actually, he's he's tiny. He just fought hard. Oh, he's not tiny. He's all right. That's actually a really healthy bait size, guys. Really healthy bait size. Wow, he fought hard for a fish that size. That's, a, that's outstanding. There we go. First bait. That's actually a really good bait size. That's a perfect size for a shark bait. Get the hook out of him. You beauty, I'm stoked with that. First night, about half an hour in. Let's get some more. Good stuff, guys. You Alright guys, just set the rods back out after that weed tangle. Oh, our fish is kicking around in that bag a bit. Take care of him in just a sec. Pretty good size long fin. He's uh, got some thickness to him there, got some girth. We're probably, probably going to get maybe one, two, three, four or five baits out of him. So, could get us a couple sharks if we're lucky. It's a nice size fish. So. First of the night, I hope we get some more, but uh, it's an excellent start. Good stuff, guys. This fire is so nice. I actually don't know where I'd be without it. <laughs> Just had a massive run there. That was a fucking crazy run. That was almost fish like. Oh, that's on. That's on, but he's in the weeds. <laughs> got him. Got him. That's a fish. Got him. Yep. And he's out. That's a good one. That's a nice bait. Ha! Huh. Wow. That actually might be undersized bait-wise. It's pretty small. Not a big fish. I switched this rod. Um, Took the carp rig off this, guys, and this is just unweighted now. Um, just on the edge of that weed bed. It's about the third, oh, second or third run I've had there. And that one, lucky I got to him. It's a quick little run. We'll have to measure him. But I think he might be legal. Tell you what, he's a fast little fish. Oh, I don't even know if we could get much bait off him anyway. He's not big. Oh geez, my leader's not too long here. Trick to, is to lift them up really quick. So even if they snap, you still got them on the land. All right. I'll have to measure him. Yeah, get a couple baits off him. He's pretty fat, thankfully. I think he'll be legal. Um, but we'll just check. Good stuff, guys. Second fish. They're coming in now. You beauty. All right, guys. Just doing a bit of research and uh, for long fin, Pacific short fin, and southern short fin, uh, the size of them is 30 centimeters. So that fish was easily 30 centimeters, so he's gonna be a keeper. Already got him in the bag there. Second of the day. Could have been a little bigger, but uh, that's still gonna be a very usable bait. Might even use him as a whole bait. Oh, we'll have to see. So that's two. Let's get some more, guys. All right, there we go, guys. There's our rig, all sorted again. Very, very simple, unweighted. Um, suicide hook, chunk of pilly, am I good? Just going to show you guys the size bait we're using. I'm not going to be using tail because I'm a little bit uh, superstitious and I've already got one tail out there, I don't want another. That's our bait there, straight in and straight back through, keeps it hidden. And that's all you need, that's all we're using to take these guys tonight. That's a fish. Oh, it should be a fish, I think. Oh yeah, he's still there. Oh, he just pulled it out of his mouth. You would not fucking believe it. There. That's interesting. I just took the tail off this because it wasn't working for me. Put on a chunk of flesh. And it seems to be working a bit better. He's dropped it now. 
Or he swallowed it and he's sitting there. That's fish. Not a big fish. Oh, he's off. No. Missed him. Bugger. That was a fish. That was on the non-tail flesh. Interesting. Good stuff, guys. Should be a fish there. Right after I just had a bite on the other rod. I thought that was something. Is that a fish? Or is that a snag? Or is it both? It's definitely a fish. Yeah, definitely a fish. Oh, nice one too. That's a better fish. That's going to be a good bait size eel, guys. Yo! That's actually a pretty healthy sized fish. Max brightness with that headlamp. This is just a one pound rod, so... He's obviously going to seem a bit bigger than he actually is. Just down in here, oh, that's right, I just remembered I didn't cast out very far. This was a pretty short cast. Thought I would have had a bit more winding than I actually do. Um, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a great bait size eel. Let's run down here real quick. Just try and pull him up on the bank. Fought a lot harder than the other one. Oh man, he's he's swallowed that. I can tell because the amount of leader I have there is like nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. Good bait size eel. Another. Oh, we'll deal with him. Um, yeah, 30 centimetre minimum, definitely. 30 centimetre fish, probably looking at close to a 40 there. So, another good bait size eel. That's the third. And this trip is proven to be rather successful. Good stuff, guys. Alrighty, guys. Another bait size eel. This I've found is the best way to bag them. go. It's a pretty big bag actually. Probably fit one or two more in here. Alright, good stuff. Success. Just kind of wound this in to check on the bait because I hadn't had anything happen for a while and it's been effectively torn apart. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. Not sure what's done that. Might have been a baby eel or something. Yeah, we'll rebait this one. Get it back out. It's a deep water rig here. So... Yeah. Tell you what guys, I don't think there's a better way to unwind after work. This has been fucking fantastic. Got a few fish, nice and warm. It's a gorgeous night. I wish you guys could see the stars. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is cold, but it's good fun. Alrighty guys, it is, let's see. 3.13, so it's pretty late. I want to get home before the sun gets up. It's probably going to be around 5. We've got three baits. One more would be pretty great. I'm getting pretty tired, to be honest. <laughs> you can probably tell from my voice. Going to wait for these logs to burn down a bit and put out the coals, and then we might head off. So, hope for one more fish here. If not, it's all good. We've got three. Had a run. Is that fucking wind? Oh no. That's gonna be chilly walking back to my car. I don't think he's still there. Nah. Just just always a run. Alrighty guys, fire has died. In about 40 minutes now without any action. So uh we're gonna call it a trip. I think wind these bad boys in and head home. Pretty successful night, got some bait, accomplished what we wanted to. Here we are back here. One, two, three. Pretty healthy sized shark baits, probably got about, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four kilo total. So it's pretty good. Using, used up about four or five pilchards, I think. So four or five pilchards for uh, three bags of eel. 
pretty pretty successful shit. So get these in, head back up, and uh, go get some rest. Then. Alrighty, guys, it's going to be the end of our trip. Um, very successful one. Three bait size eels got exactly what we were after with the technique um, that we wanted to use, unweighted. So good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm headed home now, and I'm absolutely exhausted. Uh, decent shift at work, few hours fishing fucking freezing but uh yeah it was good fun had a good time we got the day off tomorrow so i'm gonna be sleeping in um it's the first time i've really filmed a video like this so let me know what you guys think i'll probably do more of it because i kind of enjoy the whole um filming the entire trip rather than just filming the fish being caught um but yeah we'll see how we go if tell me if you've liked it tell me if you's you know think there should be something that's changed for next time um just let me know any feedback is good. So, cheers for watching. Uh, catch you in the next episode of Fisherman's Diary.